What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today we're continuing to talk about Samsung One UI 5.0 Beta. I've been trying to cover all the features for you guys. I showed you guys the change log the other day. In fact, we can take a quick peek at it again just to remind you guys of just how crazy long it is. Here is the change log for One UI 5.0 Beta. Scroll down, there's a lot of good stuff in here um, to talk about. Today in particular, we're gonna be talking about something that I didn't really find in here that's actually hidden or kind of hidden, it's mentioned somewhat, but it's kind of hidden, is the new intelligent Wi-Fi menu in the settings. Before I do that, I wanna remind you guys that Samsung Unpacked is actually just a day away. And if you guys haven't already, you should check out the link in the description in the pinned comment, put in your email and click, let's keep in touch here at the bottom and then hit reserve. Even if you're not pre-ordering something, Samsung uses these reserve opportunities to decide who they're gonna send future offers to. So you could easily get a coupon. Back in February, I put in my wife's email during the S22 Ultra launch. She didn't even order anything with her email and she got a 40% off accessories coupon to use with her current device for like cases, headphones, things like that. So if you want an awesome coupon, just put in your email there, reserve it. And if you are pre-ordering, you get up to $200 Samsung credit which is a great deal, of course, as well. And if you guys are pre-ordering, also check out my mystery boxes that I'm offering to people in the links in the description. But let's talk about it today, the new intelligent Wi-Fi menu, which is hidden somewhat. It's in the settings and connections. And if you go to Wi-Fi here, and then up here, see my Wi-Fi. I love how the theme as well, you guys see how the green from my wallpaper is now persisting throughout all the settings. It's absolutely fantastic. But if you go up to the three dots menu at the top here, you'll see intelligent Wi-Fi. And so you've got a lot of options in here which we can walk through. Switch to mobile data when the Wi-Fi connection is unstable. Switch to better Wi-Fi networks. Turn Wi-Fi on off automatically. Show network quality. Prioritize important data. Detect suspicious networks, which is great so you don't end up getting on network and giving away your information. Wi-Fi power saving mode. Auto hotspot connection. This is if you have a hotspot and you want to connect to it. Uh, by default, like if you have one that's dedicated when you're out and about. And then down here, you actually have Wi-Fi developer options. And this is where the good, interesting new stuff is in One UI 5.0 Beta. The way you get this is you actually have to tap on Intelligent Wi-Fi build number 10 times. You see it says, no need, you're already a Wi-Fi developer. So this is kind of like developer settings, uh, developer options in the regular Android menu where you tap on the build number for Android over and over again, and you get the developer options in the regular settings. Now you can do this for Wi-Fi as well. So then once you tap this 10 times, the Wi-Fi developer options will pop up. And then in here, you've got all these awesome developer options. A couple of them that are very, very useful. One is connection information. That gives you information like your connection status, the strength, the channel utilization, lots of other very interesting stuff like frequency, the name of the network, you get like your Mac ID, all this various stuff. This is a, this is just a, a, um, a this is a public network at my office. Uh, L3 status, so you get all of that information inside here. So very useful information here inside the connection information menu. And then also you get nearby Wi-Fi information. I love this heat map right here that kind of shows you the, basically like you look here, you can see like, the number of connections, the channel utilization. You can see how close or far away you are from the best connection. You can also see other Wi-Fi networks, like this is the secure Wi-Fi at my work. This is another uh, network here at my work, and you can see all those. You can also refresh them in real time to get that information. Uh, if you wanna pull it, obviously it's gonna take a little bit of battery to get that, but you can kind of see that. Wi-Fi and network diagnostics right here, diagnose any issues. It's like troubleshooting here on Windows, your Wi-Fi. Uh, router specific history, so you can see all of the information there. Uh, time specific history, you can kind of see when, how long you were connected there. And application specific history, which is also very interesting. You can see which of your apps were using your Wi-Fi connection at any given time. And so you can see here like a map of the amount of time that they've used it, the amount of data they've used it a very nice plot that kind of helps you diagnose. So overall, not only do you have information about your connection, the strength of the connection, this sweet heat map, which basically gives you an idea of kind of, you can switch between these two and see the different SSIDs here and uh, check and see each one of them, like which one of these has different network properties and strength. It also gives you a chance to diagnose issues 
uh, and other common problems that you would have when you might be on public Wi-Fi or even at your own Wi-Fi at home, you can help troubleshoot some issues there as well. So this is one that I thought was very interesting. Samsung adding another layer of developer options, this time to Wi-Fi. It's something I'll definitely use, particularly the heat map a lot to kind of check out where Wi-Fi is looking the best. Even in my house, it's kind of cool to help you find out where Wi-Fi dead zones might be. That way, if you're in a dead zone, maybe you can figure out where you should go to get out of that dead zone. That's a problem that exists not only in your house where you might know that already, but if you're out and about, you might not know where the Wi-Fi dead zones are on a public hotspot. You can move around and find better connections. Anyway, I really enjoy this intelligent Wi-Fi developer options. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Also, check out the link to put in your info to reserve for Samsung Unpack. Get some of those bonus offers if you're pre-ordering, and even if you aren't, get yourself a sweet coupon code from Samsung in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, like I said, and I appreciate you watching this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.